Hello, hello. You say goodbye. I say hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? Oh, okay. I'm feeling yeah. a little bit better. You sound much better. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't feel um, smells or, or taste, so I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I can enjoy life right now. <laughs> but but you can't say, hey, maybe you had a COVID then. Uh, they do me a test and they say no. So. Oh, no? Yeah. Um, Thursday? No, Thursday. When is the day uh, before Friday? I, I always forget. <laughs> but you know, you can't say, you can't say, I, you can't say I don't feel or I don't smell. You have to say I can't. Uh, I don't feel what? I think at the beginning of the class, you told me I don't feel or I don't smell, I believe you said. But you have yes. to say is I can't. Oh, okay, no. okay. I can't. Because remember, every, okay, do you know, do you, you know, can is a very, very important it's very important to understand. Uh huh. And if you understand, can you will understand many things? Because oh, okay. many people say, "Ah, can is poder." I can or I can't. Actually, yes, but can is is describing ability. Mm -hmm. For example, right. can you dance? Can you swim? Can you cook? Those are abilities, correct? And people say, no, I can't. Mm -hmm. That's why people say, can you speak English? Because speaking, um, speaking two languages is an ability. So in mm -hmm. this moment, you can't smell and you can't taste. In this moment, you oh. can't. You don't have that ability. Oh, okay. Cool. That's why when you, have you. A ba when you have a baby... And your baby is what? Maybe eight months? People say, hey, can he walk? No, he can't yet. All right. You know, cool. he can't speak. Like, for example, my son, my son is having problems with speaking. Really? Yeah, in this moment. You know, and um, it's too bad because he can speak very well. But he, had, he, he's. I think he's having some little impediments. So today, I, I, I was thinking I'm going to take him to classes. Mm, that's good. But it remember, uh -huh, yeah. So it's ability. He doesn't have that ability developed yet. Mm -hmm. But you know, with right. the time, you develop. So that that is can. Mm. Oh, thank you. All right. Cool. Hello, Irma. How are you? Hello, teacher. Very nice. Where are you in your house? Uh, Where are you in this moment? In your house? Yes, in my house. Okay, good. Nivia, where are you? In your home or in the pharmacy? In my home. I'm coming home. I am coming. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Oh, but listen, you said I am coming. What is I am coming? Coming. Come. No sé cómo voy saliendo, voy llegando a la casa. No, 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 there's a big, no, no, está bien, pero I, there's a big difference de voy saliendo y voy llegando. <laughs> y entonces voy llegando a la casa, I come. Exactly. Okay. No, pero no. Eh, Si usted analiza bien, Nidia, usted lo está diciendo mal en español. Voy viniendo. Y, y, y es totalmente entendible porque todos decimos así. Oh, oh, perdón. Realmente es estoy viniendo. Nidia. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, ok, hi Nidia. Mire, eh, le, le quiero explicar algo. Yo entiendo perfectamente lo que usted me dijo. Voy viniendo. 
Pero si usted analiza eso en español, gramaticalmente, está mal lo que está diciendo. Usted, te, usted quiere decir, acabo de llegar. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Mm, yes. Cuando uno dice, yo voy, yo estoy, y el gerundio, es que la acción está ejecutándose. Por ejemplo, yo estoy bebiendo café. I am drinking coffee. Sí, look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oops. Oh, man, I spilled coffee in my... Uh-oh. Okay. Can you hear me, class? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, cuando uno dice yo estoy y el endo, ando, endo, is the action in this moment. Okay, Nidia, ¿me entiende? Entonces, vuelvo y repito, yo entiendo lo que usted quiso decir. Estoy bien. ¿Cómo, cómo digo? I coming. Um, no, en español, en, en español que voy digo, llegando a la casa voy llegando no voy viniendo dijo oh, ajá voy viniendo del trabajo ajá, ok y oh también dijo God. voy llegando pero ajá. no está correcto porque usted ya está en la casa ya está sentada entonces no está viniendo ni está llegando qué quiso dar a entender se dice en ah, español okay. en español realmente lo que usted dijo acabo de llegar ajá o ya llegué a la casa. Oh, correcta. Ya yes. Entonces. ¿Y cuál es lo, cómo es lo correcto? Entonces, decir? y, y, y la, la razón que le digo por la que no está correcto, porque usted lo dijo mal en español y lo dijo mal en inglés, pero yo entiendo lo que quiso decir. O, o sea, todo el mundo aquí entendió lo que usted quiso decir. Ah, voy, voy llegando. Pero si usted dice eso en inglés, I'm coming. Entonces es, en inglés es, I just got home. Acabo de llegar a la casa. I just, I just. Or I just I, came. Okay. I just came home. Es como que si alguien dice, hey, estoy, estoy durmiendo. Mm -hmm. Estoy lavando. Obviamente lo está haciendo en ese momento. Eso se llama el presente continuo. Ok, um, good. So, you are home. Irma, hey Irma, how was your training? Oh, was great. <laughs> I felt as I, at home. <laughs> All the training is from your home. No, no, I felt like uh, I was at mm. home <laughs> because I felt very uh, grateful. You felt well, comfortable. Yes, I was comfortable. I'm uh, very happy to hear that. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, despite uh, the was very early, but doesn't matter because I, I leave the job early too did you get free pizza or donuts uh no they gave they gave us sandwich and juice or oh, okay. <laughs> hey, good welcome and welcoming i don't know if i it's okay yes i said like welcome yes usually the first and the last day of training they always give you food <laughs> Yeah. The last day is a is a pizza party. Pizza party, yes, yes. All yeah, right. <laughs> Good. All right. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How was your day today? Well, it was good. I worked. And I came early. <laughs> At 8 <laughs> <laughs> um, Laura, I, where, where do you work? I'm sorry, I forget. Where do you work? At UCA. Oh, you work in UCA too? Yes. 
But you work in the uka uka. Yes. I work in the campus of the university. In the what? In the campus. Okay, in the field. In the field. Okay. In the field of the university. What what is the name of that crazy lady from La Uca? The um la que despidieron, what's her name? No, she 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 doesn't was uh terminated. She um, she quit. So this is, she quit. But they, they yeah. obligated her, supposedly, right? No. Actually no. Oh, she quit. Yeah. Oh, that lady's crazy, man. She yeah. needs attention. Why? <laughs> I don't know are you, what I'm talking about. She was an economic teacher. She was she she uh she's a specialist in economics. And she was a yeah, teacher. She, ha she has a special personality. Um she I think she didn't uh, recognize uh, the the magnitude. Uh huh. How do you say magnitude? The magnitude. Uh -huh. She didn't recognize the magnitude of the 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 declaration that she usually do in media. Yes. Uh, um, I work. <laughs> And the um communication it's it's very difficult. I can't hear you that well. The volume is very low. No? Oh yeah, much better. Thank you. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's um, my microphone is makes a noise, extreme noise, and mm -hmm. it hurt it hurts my ears. Oh, okay. Um I work um uh communication direction mm -hmm. and usually receive all the attack um it is so stressful and sometimes we we have got sick about that because she i don't know she sometimes she's very smart she's a great teacher but I don't know. But I, I don't I, think I don't think she's think very she smart. Loved, uh, um, in his area in economics, I think she knows. No, you know Many why? Things. No, but you see, there's what? a problem in El Salvador because only because she is a teacher of that. There's not many people from her position. So because she's only one of the few that automatically makes her smart. Did you hear about that a gringo that came here about Bitcoin? And um no. When he came here, yes, he he's a he's a big mover of Bitcoin. And when he came here, she criticized him. So now she was a total expert on Bitcoin according to her. So then the gringo, you know, he tweeted and he says, I am very interested to understand what you know about Bitcoin. So please, let's have a debate in La Uca. I can go to La Uca and speak in front of your students. And she said, no. <laughs> you know, and, and like three people, retado. okay, let's talk about economics. And she, she says, Yo no me presto para eso, the typical, right? <laughs> but the gringo was very, he was... Usually she, she se prestaba para otras cosas, ¿no? Yeah. <laughs> no, pero ese gringo le pegó una huevada buena. <laughs> me, me fascinaría el tanto interés y el conocimiento que usted tiene en Bitcoin, conocer más y por qué no tenemos un debate amigable acerca uh -huh. de lo que usted sabe y lo que yo sé acerca de esta, de esta currency. She says, no, yo no me presto esas... Yeah. <laughs> Pero se a otra. yeah, she's a crazy lady. Y, y el que que, que ella hacía en los 
Yeah. O sea, no tiene ni idea. Y entonces, eh, pues, se hizo como la recomendación de, de hablar con ella, de que por favor fuera un poco más cuidadosa, ¿verdad? Con sus declaraciones. Sin embargo, ella lo tomó de otra manera. Pero esa gente, y, ya me di cuenta que siempre terminan mal. Que se estaba que se estaba eh, cuartando su libertad de expresión cuando en ningún momento ha sido. De hecho, recibimos un, un comunicado interno, ¿verdad? Donde se explicaba eso. Y ella todavía salió a, a, al siguiente día, pidió un espacio en un medio a, a, a dar su, 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 a desmentir el comunicado que habíamos recibido. Entonces. Ya. Yeah. She's a, she's a toxic, crazy lady. Sí, incluso ella hace poco vi otra, otra entrevista este, en donde decía que el 90% de, de los que ella consideraba sus amigos y sus colegas la habían abandonado. ¿verdad? Entonces, a veces como que, y eso como que no le da una pauta a usted de que algo estaba haciendo mal. ¿verdad? Yeah. <ríe> of Pero sí, ha sido... No, y lo, lo más gracioso es que eh, um, usualmente los ataques persisten, vea, y, y dicen ex catedrática de la USA, vea, y aunque ya no tenga relación con la universidad, pero no, eh, en un, ningún momento se le obligó, se le hizo una recomendación, nada más, y ella eh, se sintió ofendida, como es su personalidad, y, y hizo toda, todo el show que ha pasado realmente. Lastimosamente. Mm -hmm. sí. hey, eso no está grabado, <laughs> No, pero igual todo el mundo sabe. She's crazy. She's she's she she likes attention. I like I I hate politics, but I like watching because it's a circus. No. It, it's a circus. All right. Let me see. Is it raining in your house, cl class? In my house, near my house, it's raining. Yeah, it's yeah. starting to yeah. rain right now. It's... Yes, it's raining now. Good. N Nidia, what are you eating? I'm eating palomitas de maíz. Popcorn. Popcorn. Sí. Yo le, no, y claro, y le hice esa pregunta. Eso es present continuous. I am eating popcorn. Estoy comiendo en this moment. Por eso que cuando usted dijo voy viniendo, se entendía, pero it was not correct. Ok, so, do you see the, the lady in the video? Yes. 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 Wow, I put it. Hold on. Black Hey, but you know, like right, like that, like that. She looks, she looks pretty. No, no, wait, wait. I mean, you know, okay, wait. No, her. No, I'm not discriminating her. I, I think that's why I like. I like that this uh, tradition, what, no, this, um, the Arab, the women, that they cover their face and they only leave their eyes. You can see uh -huh. the eyes. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's kind of interesting because you can fall in love with a woman like that because your, your imagination, <laughs> you know, your imagination, like, wow, such beautiful <laughs> eyes. You know, but like, for example, look, here she has too. beautiful eyes. But the smile, her smile, no, that doesn't work. Yes, but yeah. <laughs> but here, look, wow, she's so. Picture, did, did you, um, well, I remember uh, during the, the COVID, usually <laughs> we used to say better with, with masks. <laughs> yes, I, I only had one experience like that. I frequently went to uh, this store in Metro Centro and there was this girl to me she was beautiful 
and That's but she, no she used a mask like for one year. So I spoke with her. Mm -hmm. I went frequently to that. I had to go frequently to that store. I had to go maybe two times or three times a week. <laughs> and and everybody in the store in that store they know me. Hi, Mr. David. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. David. Hi, Mr. David. And one day. I don't know, like one year or two years later, suddenly nobody is wearing a mask. And I saw that girl that I thought she was very beautiful and like, oh, it was a little. <laughs> no, she... And the magic over. Yes, because, you know, in my imagination, wow, she's because she was very beautiful. Her eyes were very brown, like honey. And you know oh. she was blonde and and everything and um, yeah. Let's go back but to COVID. From the oh. nose to the bottom of face. Ah, pero no se me nada digo de papá. Un alisapo y alcohol. I all my all my masks they were like um. Mira pe. In my masks, well. they, I had like a monkey mouth. <laughs> or, or I had a, I had a naive bukele. <laughs> naive bukele. <laughs> I have many different things, you know, like. <laughs> okay, so let's listen to the video. As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just... I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well, have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <laughs> Ugh. See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. <sighs> Well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something. You know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach. 
listening to the sounds of the ocean, ocean, ocean. Okay, number one, my respects for the patient that man has, the patience. Yes, because that woman is negative. Yeah. <laughs> Yo le diría, ¿sabes? <laughs> you know what? ¿Sabes qué? <laughs> you know, when you give a lot of people suggestions, no, pero es que, yeah, yeah, pues come chucho, man. <laughs> she, had, she had a a problem for its solution. <laughs> Yes. And you know what? I really don't like people like that. When you try to give them a solution and they 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 have a they answer with another problem. Mm -hmm. How do you say pretexto? Um excuse. Oh, excuse. Everything you say to that person it always is a excuse. Mm -hmm. Give excuse. Excuse. Yes, they're always giving out excuses. So, um, but you know, I do understand that um, sometimes when you're in an office all day, it's stressful. What do you do to stress out? Hmm. Uh, not always it's possible because the office are closed and you can't go out. No, but sometimes you're stressed. You had a very long day or you had a very oh. long week or a very long month and you oh. want to change your routine. What do you do in that moment? Some people drink, I, some people run, some people, what do you do? If I have enough money, I go to the beat. But if I don't have Ooh. money, who do you I go with? Who do you huh? go with? Who do you go to the oh. beach with? Alone. <laughs> okay. I go to the beach alone. Oh, I thought you were I... gonna say with your with your dogs. <laughs> no, no, I can't because I don't have a car. But but, but you know what? That must be very relaxing going to the beach alone. Yeah, yes, you can see the beach. You can see the clouds. Sometimes what I do is I like I I like to drive at night, like mm -hmm. at eleven or twelve p.m. <laughs> yeah, I like to drive and take pictures. Okay, it's relaxing. Yeah, it relaxes <laughs> me. I like to go to Salvador del Mundo and take pictures. It's beautiful because it's empty. There's no cars. There's no people, and there's a lot of lights. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful picture in mind. Okay, listen, by the end of this class, participants will be able to describe the service performed for them by someone else using have or get. So basically, we're going to learn the difference between have and get. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. 
active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use at or buy. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Hello. Okay, one thing very, very important here. Do you know what is the difference between an active and a passive voice? No, uh, not teacher. No, I don't okay. Know. So you. I, okay. I think. I think I, I don't know if I remember, but active is when someone do the action to uh, draw an object, and an active voice is when we are describing uh, um, uh, the object is the the the, the subject. I think. You have the idea. Listen, uh, this is what I'm okay. Um, I'm going to give you two explanations: the grammatical and the logical. What is the difference? Is there a difference? The cat is going to eat the mouse and the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Is there a difference? I can see the difference that in the second sentence, the object received the action. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. But in the first one too, the cat is going to eat the mouse. But in the first one, the cat. Mm, I, <laughs> I can see the difference, but I don't know how how can explain it. No problem. Can you hold, give me one second, class, please? Hold on. Okay.
Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I love I love skulls. I like devils. I like I like dark things. I don't know why. <laughs> That is not how I do like skulls as well. I'm sorry. I do like skulls as yeah, well. I love skulls. I don't know why they're cool. <laughs> it's not Halloween yet. I love Halloween. I like in this moment. I love going to Dollar City. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's funny because you see the the. You see the, the aisle, and you have Christmas on your right and Halloween on your left. And <laughs> yes. it's like, I don't, I don't even look at Christmas. I love Halloween. My birthday is November 2, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a date. <laughs> yeah. When I was a little kid, I had bullying from my brothers. Oh, you know. <laughs> you know, like, uh, they were mean with you. They were mean with you. They were mean with you. Yes, but now I like it because it's a holiday. <laughs> you yeah. have day off. Yes. Well, um, no. Teacher, yesterday night, I sent you a photo of my dogs. Did you find it? No. In the chat of, of, of chat. Really? Yeah. Uh, if you want, I can send you it again. If you know someone, someone a stranger that want to adopt. Yes. Um. Yeah. Send them, and I I, I will post them. Okay. Now I will send in the Can you send it to the chat. WhatsApp to the WhatsApp to the WhatsApp. Okay, I will look your number. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. So if we go back to the um, oh here to make it easier, let me put the chat. There's my number. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So listen, um, so the cat is going to eat the mouse and the mouse is going to eat the cat. My question is, is the story the same? Yes, it's the same. Yes, it's the same story. Oh, sorry. The, the, the rat is dead, the mouse. So there are two different ways of saying it. You can say, oh my God, look, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Or you can say, oh my God, look, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. So what is the difference? What do you think is the difference? The difference that the the object uh, has to be the subject in the second sentence. Mm, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the difference is who received the action. No, because in the two stories, in the two stories, the the mouse receives the action. Remember, okay. this, the story is the same. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Un billete de un dólar o cualquier billete es igual de cualquier lado, pero tiene formas diferentes en cada lado. Listen, the difference is the importance. Who do you want to make important, the cat or the mouse? 
So if you want to make the cat important, start with the cat. Hey, oh my God, look, 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 look. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Or if you want to make the mouse important, start with the mouse. Oh man, look, look, look. That mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Uh, is the importance okay. is who you want to make important the subject or the object the okay is so the so that's the logical explanation okay porque la gente dice bueno y si es la misma historia porque se dicen dos formas yes hay dos formas de hacerlo porque Ella tiene que matar importancias. El Salvador tuvo una guerra con Honduras. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Nosotros los atacamos o ellos nos atacaron? Si nos hacemos las víctimas, hacemos, decimos primero, no, es que ellos nos atacaron primero. Ok, so listen. What is a subject? A subject does the action. Okay, Edson, what is a subject? Thus. The action. The action. So the cat is going to eat the mouse. What is the subject? Edson, what is the subject? Right. The cat is going to eat the mouse. What is the subject? be going okay Edson I'm going to repeat what is a subject oh the cat okay good why the cat the repeat the, the complete the... okay I'm going to start okay Question number one. Pero aquí también necesito que me ayude a contestar en formas con eh, eh, oraciones completas, no palabras. Me está respondiendo con palabras. Okay. Okay. Edson Stanley, what is a subject? The cat is a subject. No, my question is, what is a subject? No, who is the subject? What is a subject? If you open a, a dictionary or a book, what is a subject? Put in Google, what is a subject? What is a subject? Hey. O sea, Edson, si yo pongo en, en Google, ¿qué es un sujeto? Me va a decir the cat. It's a compliment. No. Class, what is a subject? It's a noun. That is who does the action. Exactly. The subject does the action. Edson no estaba oyendo bien mi pregunta. Yo le estaba preguntando mm -hmm. qué es un sujeto. No pregunté cuál es el sujeto en la oración. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. No, no, no. Está bien. Es, hay, una, hay que practicar. Se llama active listening. Okay. Por eso yo le, le dije, si yo pongo en Google qué es un sujeto, la respuesta me va a decir el gato. No. Me va a decir un sujeto es el que ejecuta la acción. Okay, so Edson Stanley, what is the subject? It's a uh, uh, to uh, subject, but uh, what what. what uh, realize and in, in action. The subject does the action. Please repeat. Okay. The subject does the action. The action. Exactly. Good. Okay. Joanna, what is an object? Object. The object and is 
So it's very simple. Listen, a subject does the action. So the object the contrary. Class, what is an object? Si no entendemos esto, se los juro que no vamos a entender active and passive. Si el sujeto hace la acción, ¿qué hace el objeto? Receive the action. Thank you. The yes. Action. The subject does the action and the object receives the action. Now, listen to my example. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Nivia, what is the subject? The subject is action. Nivia, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Who is the subject? The cat, the subject is Perfect. the cat. Exactly. Perfect. Yes. And who is the object, Nivia? The mouse. Perfect. The object is the mouse. Yeah. Good. All right. Now, the cat is going to eat the mouse. The cat is the subject. Yes. Because the cat is going to do the action. The mouse is the object? Yes, because the mouse is going to receive the action. Now, listen to this. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Alejandra, who is the subject? Edgar, Catherine, Lilian, Tania, Irma, los que no hablan nunca. Entonces, the subject no. is the mouse. The, no, it's the cat. Okay. Hold on, wait. Irma, the subject is the mouse. Hmm? Is to me the question? No, wait, wait. But I want to understand. Hold on. Irma, are you there? Yes. Yes. No, Irma oh. Raquel. I'm sorry, Irma oh. Raquel. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, yes, there's two Irmas. I'm sorry. Okay, Irma. So, so listen. The the cat. I'm sorry. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Who is? Uh -huh. Who is the subject? The mouse. Yes. Is the subject? Okay. What is the subject, Irma? What is the definition of a subject? Is the subject is who the is the action? The subject does the action. Okay, very good. Oiga lo que dijo. The subject does the action. Me está diciendo que the mouse is the subject. Why? Because in this moment is is going to the cat. O sea, el ratón se va a comer al gato. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me. Eh. I don't understand. Thank you. Eso es lo único que... Quiero que me digan, I don't understand, que me hagan preguntas. Yes. Okay. okay, the subject, who is the subject, Susana? It's the cat. Yes, it's the cat. And the object is the mouse. O sea, the story, the story doesn't change. The only thing that changed was the position of the subjects and the object. Irma, 
El gato se va a comer al ratón y el ratón va a ser comido por el gato. En las dos se va a morir el ratón. Ok, aunque cambien de posición. Sí. No cambia, o sea, la historia no cambia, la historia es la misma. Ah, oh. ok. Ok, entonces, active voice, aquí va la, la, la explicación gramatical. Active voice is when the subject first, object last. Es la voz activa. Cuando va el sujeto primero y el objeto de último. Y la voz pasiva es al revés. Cuando el objeto va primero y el sujeto de último. Pero si es lo mismo, ¿por qué se dicen dos formas? Bueno, pues depende cómo hay en cuenta la historia. Ahora, los fanáticos del gato van a dar activo. Ey, ey, mira ese gato, se va a comer al ratón. Los que sienten empatía por el pobre ratón van a dar, ey, mira ese ratón, va a ser comido por el gato. O sea, ¿a quién le están dando la importancia? That is the difference. So there's two. So active and passive voice, the grammatical explanation. Una pregunta, Laura, Cecilia, Catherine, Edgar, Tania, Samuel, Alejandra, Beatriz, Ileana, are you in class today? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Yes, teacher. Oh, yeah, Laura, yes. I'm sorry, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Laura, Laura's yes. here. Laura, okay. okay. So the, remember I told you there's two explanations. The grammar explanation an active voice, subject first, object last. Passive voice, otherwise. What is the difference? The importance. The Yes. Eh, eh, a ver si quiero ver si le entiendo. O sea, que de, en el caso, por ejemplo, que ponía del ratón, el de active eh, es el gato cuando el gato se come el ratón. Uh -huh. Y en el caso que es al revés, que el, que el gato, el ratón va a ser comido con el gato, es pasivo. Sí. Ahí es pasivo y del otro, cuando es al revés, es activo. Sí, aunque no es mucho al revés, porque la historia es igual. Ah, oh, no, ok, pero... Es que al revés sería la... que el gato, el ratón se come el gato. <ríe> no, pero la, la, el, lo que quiero decir es que es cuando está escrito de manera diferente. No, yo mejor pusiera Opa. cuando cuando cambian de posición el sujeto y el objeto. Ah, ajá, eso, eso. eso. Nunca he leído el periódico que dicen, el mágico González fue homenajeado en Cádiz. Mm. Bueno, imagínense, lo leen. Saben que Mágico González jugó en el Cádiz, right? Y es muy famoso en España. Entonces sale en el periódico y dice: El Mágico González fue homenajeado en Cádiz. ¿Eso es activo o pasivo? Active. Así. Active. What about you, Susan? What do you think? Can you repeat the sample, please? Yes, El Mágico González fue homenajeado en Cádiz. As active. Wow. Oh. I think it's passive. Because it's passive, uh, yes. Yes. The homenaje to Mágico. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. para empezar, ¿quién, ¿cuál es el sujeto? ¿Quién es el sujeto aquí? El mágico González. El mágico hizo la acción. El mágico Cádiz. hizo el homenaje. No. Cádiz. Fue Cádiz. Cádiz. Cádiz es el subject. 
¿Quién recibió la acción? El mágico. El mágico. Pero ¿por qué el periódico dice el mágico González fue homenajeado en Cádiz? Porque le están dando importancia más al mágico que a Cádiz. Como un orgullo, ¿verdad? Right? Porque también puede, ¿cuál sería la otra forma? Ey, el Cádiz homenajeó al mágico. Mm. You see, so that's the difference. It's, it's who or what you want to make important. Now I can see clearly that. Thank you. Yeah. Sí o no, alguna vez en su trabajo alguien ha dicho, yo he sido escogida o escogido tres veces como empleado del mes. ¿Y han oído a alguien decir eso? Usted lo han dicho, es correct. Yo he sido escogido tres veces empleado del mes. Y eso es pasivo. Pero estoy, estoy hablando con yo primero porque me estoy haciendo yo el, el importante. Um, if I say I, I've been chosen. I have been chosen. I have been chosen as employer of month. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's passive. Active sería the company chose me mm -hmm. for employer of the month. Mm -hmm. Pero no, usted se siente orgullosa de eso. Entonces mejor va a dar pasivo. O sea, se va a usted, usted lo importante. Me voy a echar flores. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Entonces, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I have been chosen wow. <laughs> as the employee of the month. As the employee of the month. Yes. Pero si es la que le cae mal, puede decir, Ash, the company chose Carla as the employee of the month. No hay Carla aquí, ¿verdad? Mm. Sí, bueno, si hay, no es usted, Carla, es un ejemplo. <risa> yeah. No, y saben que irónicamente, le hablan en español eso porque es la misma gramática en español hasta la forma de usar el verbo porque oigan esto the cat is going to eat the mouse el gato se va a comer el ratón exact grammar o oh, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat el ratón va a ser comido por el gato You know, entonces es, es la misma. Entonces ya saben cómo explicarle a alguien si un día les pregunta a sus hijos o alguien, hey, mira ahí, mamá, tía, hermana, hermano, en la escuela de lenguaje me preguntaron qué es la diferencia de, de eso. ¿Qué es la diferencia de decir el gato se va a comer al ratón, el ratón va a ser comido por el gato? Y cuando estén confundidos, solo automáticamente piensen, ok, por ejemplo, en esto de Cádiz los, los engañé, o sea, no los engañé, pero los puse a pensar. Cádiz, el, el mágico fue homenajeado por, por el mágico. ¿No? ¿Cómo es? El mágico fue homenajeado por el Cádiz y les dije a ustedes, ¿qué fue eso? Active or passive. Yo solo decía active, passive. No. Primero pónganse a pensar, ok, subject. ¿Quién hizo la acción? Cádiz. Object, entonces, obviously, object es el mágico. Entonces, hoy ya analizan la respuesta. El mágico fue homenajeado por el... Oh, that's passive. Y de ahí viene la expresión. Ustedes son bien pasivos. Ah. Son demasiado pasivos. Su, su actitud es bien pasiva, you know. Mm -hmm. Que solo reciben, reciben, reciben. Ok, entonces, ya que entendemos esto, más o menos, como les digo, hay dos, hay, dos, hay dos explicaciones, la lógica y la gramatical. La gramatical, entonces, es una voz activa, es el sujeto primero, va primero, y el objeto de último. La voz pasiva es el, la misma historia, lo único que el objeto va primero y el sujeto de último. Esa es la gramática. Entonces, la lógica, entonces, ¿por qué se hizo dos formas? Porque es tu forma de explicar. ¿A quién le quiere dar la importance? 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Eh, Hitler, Adolfo Hitler. Bueno, es que no se sabe. En, te bueno, okay, en teoría lo mata. No, se mató el sol. No, güey. Kennedy, Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. No, wait, let me change. ¿Quién mató a alguien? Deme un evento famoso que mataron a alguien. Selena. Selena, thank you. ¿Cómo se llamaba la, la, la mujer esa? No, se llamaba... ¿Cómo que se llamaba esa mujer? Yolanda. Yolanda, ah, yes, thank you. Que, que todo el mundo quiere que sea la manager de Bad Bunny. Es el guante. Bueno, hacen buena pareja. No, ¿Eh? o sea, que siga, que siga con sus costumbres. Ok, so, entonces, oh my God, Yolanda Saldívar, es right. Yolanda Saldívar killed Selena. Is that active or passive? Active. Active, yes. Yolanda Saldívar mató, mató a Selena, pero si se dan cuenta, toda la gente le da más la importancia a Selena, entonces lo decían al revés. Oh, man, Selena was killed. Uh -huh. So, sí existe. La, that's the difference. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to continue class. Y vamos a entender Thank cómo you. usar get and I'm sending actives and passives, okay? Hello. Okay, sure. Yes, okay. Thank you, okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, teacher. Bye -bye. I see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.